Mmm. Mmm. Don't you just love a good snap? I, I, I do. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Jetrin. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Louis Vuitton envelope business card holder in the monogram print. So if you're interested in seeing this and why I believe this is probably the best SLG in 2020, in my opinion, please keep on watching. The reason why I want to talk about this particular item is because I feel like a lot of people don't really know about this item. So let's just get into the details and I'll tell you a little story why I want this and why I feel like this is well worth it this year. The item number here is M63801 and I will put a little screenshot in this video. This does retail for 295 USD. Here are the measurements 4.1 inches in length 3.1 inches in height and 0.4 inches in width currently this does come in two different type of material the monogram and also the Domer graphite print um, both of which are made from cowhide leather and includes a button snap closure to secure your cards or business card i just checked the website and apparently they took down i, I think it's the Ampron leather. They used to have one in that, but I guess they don't have it no more. Now this item here fits so much cards. If you're someone who carries a lot of credit cards, debit cards, loyalty cards, this, this item is definitely for you. In the main compartment, it fits so much. It can fit, I did test it out, it fits 10 cards easily. You can fit you know three extra cards making it 13 anything more than 10 can definitely feels mm, it, it's too snug now additional to the 10 there is one slit compartment in the front another one behind the front and another one on top of the flaps i personally would not fit more than one cards in those slit compartments other than the main one just because i feel like it will stretch out the canvas over time now what's kind of awesome about this is that this is made in france i know crazy um all the ones i've looked at reviews even seen the pictures on instagram google they're all made in spain and i'm thinking that they probably changed the factory of where this is made to France. So it is nice to have a made in France piece for sure. Now story time, I did not realize Louis Vuitton did carry this up until earlier this past March. Um, so I do follow a YouTube channel here called Bobster92. He does, you know, luxury goods, unboxing, reviews, all that. And earlier this March when he purchased this, I was just like, what is this? I've never seen this. <laughs> so what really stood out to me for this particular item is the monogram. Uh, fun fact, I do not like monogram. But I mean, I'm, slow, I'm slowly starting to love it because of this item. But yeah, be everything before this, everything I own from Louis Vuitton has always been Dame Ebin or Dame Graphite. I've never owned anything from Monogram. And I think the main reason why I've always been turned off with Monogram is just, I feel like it's too loud, you know? It's too loud and it can kind of look a little bit feminine if that makes sense after seeing this item i feel like the monogram print just works for it i'm not sure if it's the scale of the monogram i don't know i just i just love it for some reason and i know they have you know monograms and like the clay and even the six key ring holder but i've just never been drawn to that so i was very surprised to find myself loving this anyways so when i saw his video i you know, went to my local boutique to see if they have it and they did have it. However, when I did look at them, they did not look good. Um, one of them, the stitching was like really crooked and I was like, no, no, mm -mm. if I'm paying this much, I want a good piece, right? Went to another one nearby and I saw, you know, they had it too. I wish I took a video of it, but the whole entire canvas whoever made the stitch like whoever sewed it did not do a good job so when i lift up the flap what ended up happening was it was tugging on the whole entire canvas and i was just like how like hello quality issue right sadly enough i did leave the store without having this item and then next thing you know pandemic happened 
so I was not able to purchase this. Now since March up until like last week of May, I like stalked the Louis Vuitton website every day hoping that this would be available. However, they never restocked it. And then what ended up happening was this baby went up like $25. So when I first saw it, I think it was about like $270 and then now it's like $295. So darn you price increase now when the store started lifting back up and i saw this that it was available at my local boutique i went for it and thankfully this one was in a better condition so yeah so it's been about six months since i own this and i have to say i really love it now i say this piece is well worth it for this year just there's so many reasons all right so i'm gonna compare this with the very famous clay here and this one I purchased back in 2014. The newer clays, guys, let me tell you, the newer clays, I don't like it. I don't like the new model. I don't like the shape of it. I don't like the canvas. I feel like the newer canvas are very really poorly made and it just feels really thin and cheap. I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. It's not worth it to get this nowadays. I mean, no matter what I say, people will still buy it just because it is Louis Vuitton most famous slg if you spend a little bit more at that 70 dollars um because this does retail for 225 dollars right now at a you know 70 dollars more you can definitely get a better i feel like you can definitely get a better thicker compact wallet that fits more than this now if you do look on the woman's section of their compact wallets uh this is not listed under there this is listed under the men's section and on the women's section there are other many so many other compact wallets there that look similar like this in size in terms of size um but the price point is like four going to five hundred dollars while this is a shy of three hundred dollars wouldn't you rather buy this and save a little money knowing that you can fit your cards the same exact amount now i am a little scared over time that the more i open this this part right here is going to sort of crack like the glazing might crack but i feel like with anything that you use it's gonna wear and tear regardless so you know if you do purchase this i don't recommend you like stretching it so much just you know just to preserve the item so that's just a tip now if you are interested in this beauty uh i highly suggest you going to your local boutiques asking if they have it or just going on the page of this item and looking at the google map and seeing if it's you know available at your local boutique so you know you're not wasting your time uh i personally would not keep refreshing the page to see if they're going to restock because they have not restocked for some reason now to my surprise i've i've been stocking this item again uh just to help out a friend who wants to buy this and they have not restocked this at my store for the past two months and i don't understand why so it makes me think that they really make limited quantity of this and yeah so I, I don't know why. Personally, it is nice to have something that a lot of people don't really own um, in terms of SLGs because, you know, a lot of people do own the clay and also the six key ring holder. So, you know, that is nice. Be a little different, right? If you look up this item on YouTube, there's only about like 20 videos of people talking about this. And most people who made a video of it claim and just say that this is really you know underrated and i have to agree with everyone it's such an underrated item that no one really knows about <laughs> and i just i still don't understand why it's not really popular maybe it's because of the design it's just like a you know it's just a flap with a button closure if you are able to find this at your stores i highly suggest you checking it out and even buying it before another price increase like we know there's gonna be another price increase next year uh, i'm surprised we didn't have one yet because apparently there was a rumor there was gonna be another one this year so Anyway, you guys, I hope this video was very informative to you. If you are interested, I will link it down below if, you know, for all the information, of course. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this item? Um, how many SLGs do you have? You know, 
let me know because you know i want to chat with you guys but until then um please subscribe to me of course and give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys have a great one and i will talk to you guys soon bye